was there with you. It was just in need. All right. <laughs> Take care of yourself. All right. Bye. <laughs> hey, babe. Yeah. Are you still on that? What does you know? Oh, she wants me to help with a child education ceremony. You see, feel dizzy. Yes, I do. I'll be going to the hospital when we are done. I, I hope we finish on time. Okay. Wait, mm -hmm. what time does your flight leave? Mm -hmm. Are you missing me already? Of course I am! Do you, do you know how lonely this house become when I'm all alone? If only we could have a child to keep me company or to laugh with me or or to shout around the house. I want to even feel your presence whenever you leave. Come. Come. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I have told you countless times to stop worrying yourself. Don't worry yourself. But I want to give you a child. I want to give you children. I want to... Shh. I love you. And nothing in this world can change that. Do you see me complaining? Mm -hmm. See, no woman in this world can take your place in my heart. I love you. We're in this together, eh? We're in... See, we're in it together. I love you. Oh, I love you so much, Mitchell. I, I, I will make you happy soon, okay? You deserve the best, okay? You're the best man in the world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gina again. Yes, she's so impatient. Do you know what, babe? Just have a nice flight, okay? Oh, uh, call me when you. Sure, sure, sure. Alright. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> Bye. 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 Take care of yourself, okay? I will. You too. Alright. Bye. Hey, Eve. Yeah, yeah. In the last time I'll be there. No, no. She just stepped out. Yeah. I missed you too. I know you miss me. Please, can you stop all this nagging? Can you? Stop all this nagging till I come, please. See, that's why I have this thing in my hands, so she can take care of you. You know how the situation of things are. We will we'll, we'll find a way around it. Yes. Come to think of it, Eve. You are only two weeks pregnant, and you are acting like a needy woman already. Ah. Well. Since it's going to be a boy, you can. <laughs> yes, you can want me anytime, no problem. Since it's going to be a boy, it's your time, no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. All right, all right, all right. Bye. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Fine, thank you. How was the day? Fine. How was the trip? Good. Good to be oh. home. <laughs> why are you looking different? And why are you smiling differently? I have good news. <laughs> wow, good news. You won't even let me in. <laughs> no, no. Okay, okay. Let me guess. You got the promotion at work? No, babe. I got more than that. Wow. <laughs> See, I went to the hospital okay. after I left Gina's place on Saturday. Mm. I was so shocked when the doctor said, <laughs> I am three weeks pregnant. <laughs> so all the dizziness and the fever are all symptoms of pregnancy. You mean? You mean? <laughs> yeah. ah. Good news. Wow. So, so, I'm going to be a father of two. 
two, uh, um, I mean twins. It's, it's twins, I know. <laughs> wow! <laughs> This one was a Yes, yes. Wow. <laughs> Doctor. Yes, my friend. Sorry, I had to come late. You know, I told you my real wife gave birth. I had to look for a light to cover up so I can show up here. <clears throat> your real wife. Yes, ma'am. Well, that is your real wife and the baby, if I may use your word. The first few days of fatherhood has been challenging. Now so it be. Ah! Now so it be. <laughs> but thank God, my mother is around to put us through. Welcome ah. to fatherhood, my friend. Thank you, thank you. Can I see them now? Yes, you will. But I want to tell you something. What is it? Are they all right? Yes, they are. Ah, okay. Have you told your wife about Eve yet? Ah, doctor, not now. Ah, no. I'm looking for a better time to tell them. Remember you swore to keep the secret, doctor. Ah, please, oh. Hey, what do you want to tell me? Well, I did a test on the baby. Okay. And I realized he has an extra chromosome gene in his body. Which translates to him having a Down syndrome. What are you saying, this doctor? What are you saying? The extra copy of the chromosome in his body will affect how the baby's body and brain will develop. And this will cause mental and physical challenges to him. And he will have a lower IQ. Doctor, you mean Eve gave birth to an imbecile? No, not an imbecile. That's not the word. So what is the word, doctor? Imbena, imbena. He has a Down syndrome. And I would like you to be ready for this. Because you have to give him your resources which includes your time, your money, and your attention. Huh? Come on, let's go see them now. If I had known, I wouldn't have married another woman secretly outside. I wouldn't have lied and deceived my wife of my faithfulness to her. Could this be a punishment for my unfaithfulness? No, it can't be a punishment. Come on. Calm down, Mr. Mitchell. Huh? Let's go and see them. Doctor. No one to see them. Maybe some other time. Ah. Oh. Your patients would have given you everything you wanted. But your impatience have put you in into your milk. Oh. Doctor. I'll see you some other time. My friend, won't you go see them again? Yeah, you see, everywhere in the world, uh, it is the obvious fact that men seem to have superior power over women. But when you come down to Africa, that power seems to be even more obvious because a man can go out and do whatever he likes and the society has said that to be normal. Uh, you know, we can preach to women to be patient, like you don't have a kid yet, be patient. But, like, men seem to feel like I have the power to go out and do whatever I like, you know, if I cannot have a child of time with this woman. Now, as we can see in this story, at the end of the day, not being patient to wait for God can lead any one of us to uh, destroy our lives. <laughs>